Hey, Chrissy, come on. It's the big deal. You can borrow one of mine. I don't want one of yours. Really? <laughs> Why are you being so possessive all of a sudden? It's because Kiefer gave it to her. Molly. Hey, hey, listen. Today is not about you. Or you. This is Maxie and Spinelli's wedding, please. As a, as a favor to me. They are my friends. I don't want to be late. Can you please get ready? What about my necklace? Are you kidding me? Be the bigger person right now. <sighs> Your sister is right. You should ask permission, okay? But what's the big deal? Come on, Christina wasn't even gonna wear it. <laughs> well, it, it is a big deal. It has a sentimental value to her. He forgave it to her, come on. So, so serious are they anyway mm -hmm. do you like them yeah Kiefer's beyond awesome awesome enough for your sister definitely I mean Kiefer has the potential to be a real Byronic hero uh-huh well it's not exact Kiefer's not an outcast and he isn't hiding an unsavory past that we know of but he is facing a major obstacle in Christina's dad. Since Uncle Sonny is a scary crime boss and is capable of pretty much anything. Right. Um, do you think that Chrissy loves him? Like, loves? Well, probably. I mean, why wouldn't she? But not real forever love like Spinelli and Maxie. They're like Cyrano and Roxanne. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't... I kind of don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> okay, look. It's like this. Gorgeous people pick each other, and the plain but genius are left to pine away from afar. But this time, the babe picked the geek, and now they get to live happily ever after. So, this is a great day for nerds. Especially oddball ones. <laughs> oh, then I'm guessing you're in for a treat. Oh. So beautiful. Makes you want to do it all over again. Really? Say the word. You would? You'd do it all over again? Marry you? A thousand times. Are you guys gonna kiss? Yes, we just might. Aw, oh, yuck. Mm. Welcome, peeps. Hey, Morgan, my man. I haven't forgotten your awesome shooting at the carnival. Woo! Hey, where's your brother? Oh, he's driving over on his own. Uh, yes, in his own car. His mother is very worried about him. Mm -hmm. It's lucky we have this beautiful wedding as a distraction. Mm-hmm. Should we sit? All right, come on, I'll show you this nest of banana slugs I found out on the, uh, on the terrace. Cool. That's a good idea. No, no, it's okay to keep him from getting bored. Morgan, do not sneak one of those things home with you, please. I won't. Okay. Really? You want him hanging out with Coleman? You think he's a good influence for a kid? fine. Rough around the edges, but he's fun. Some of my best memories were hanging out at Jake's. You miss your single days? <laughs> no. No, I love my life. I wouldn't change anything about it. On the other hand, you and Jason are more in the um, tragic star cross lovers mode. Whoa, hold up. No way. Jason and I are just friends. Okay, maybe we're. He needs a bit more than friends. Just a little. Do you want to hear my advice or not? Yes, I'd love to. Okay. You need to be careful not to Romeo and Juliet. Hmm. Well, you know, don't do something irrevocable that leads to mutual doom. Hey, whoa. We are not doomed. And, or star-crossed, whatever that means. So you get that out of your head. But you are lovers, right? Hmm. <laughs> don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Hey. Oh, you look beautiful. Thanks. I see uh, Kay let you wear her necklace. I didn't let her wear it. Molly took it without asking. Ah. Uh, well, at least your little sister has good taste. Whoa. <laughs> Kay, you look fantastic. I can't wait to show you off. I told you. I can't go out with you. I'm doing a reading at a wedding today. 
didn't speak other people's words, even though that would have been a lot easier for me to follow. You didn't pretend to be anybody else. You were you. That's who Maxie fell in love with. This isn't hard. All you gotta do is be honest. One of Stone Cold's most compelling qualities is, is that he speaks the truth, however inconvenient or hurtful. So I call upon that attribute now. Do you... Do you think we're making the right choice? Or are Max Meese and I making the biggest mistake of our lives? Only you and Max can answer that. But just so you know, they don't come any better than you, Spinelli. Maxie's the lucky one here. And I hope she knows it. Hey, did you work out with my mom and Jax when you're moving in? Uh, yeah, you know about that? It was really cool of you to offer me a place to stay. That you don't want to? I think your dad thinks it would be a better idea if I crashed at his place. That, that's the next best thing, right? We still hang out, go to a ball game. I'll even teach you how to whip Sonny at stickball. Uh, I need to do that. All right, we'll count that one in the win call. Great. See ya. Right. My God, it looks amazing. <laughs> Are you totally eating like a fan, though? <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> and if I may, you look especially handsome. Oh. Well, yes. You're too kind. No. Max is really lucky. See, I like the brainy ones, so you're good for me. <laughs> well, um... Humbled and honored by your support, and I'm uh, very much looking forward to your poetry recitations. <laughs> I think maybe you girls should take a seat. Uh, we are running out. Bye. Well, how are you holding up? As well as can be expected, I suppose. He's a wreck. <laughs> no, come on. He's a groom. He's supposed to be stressed. Congratulations. Surprised to see you up and around. Yeah, well, the lady's been taking good care of me. Yeah, I bet she has. Well, could we please, <laughs> could we please change the subject? Don't be shy. I'm a big supporter. I think you guys are great together. And I love the whole I don't care what anybody thinks vibe. Must seem familiar. Yep. <laughs> well, it's nice to be approved of for once. Yeah, I don't think Johnny and I are making many top ten lists in this town. <laughs> it's because Port Charles is filled with a bunch of judgmental people who have no right to talk. I say rub it in their face. That works for me. Spinelli. I can't. There's a room full of people. I... Look, look at me. Now, remember how uh, you told me about uh, karaoke night? You thought you wouldn't be so scared that you'd open your mouth and nothing would come out? Right? What'd you do? H how'd you get through that? How'd you make it okay? I focused on her. Exactly. This is the same thing. I want you to look at Maxie and just speak the truth. What if I see a truth in her eyes that I'd rather not know? Okay. Okay, maybe you don't want surprises, and that's fine, because Maxie's right outside. Do you want, do you want to talk to her just to be sure? No, oh, it's not necessary. I'm ready to proceed. With my wedding. So long. Relax. You just got a message. He's fine. Holy crap! Morgan, talk like that. Mom, well, Jason's wearing a pink tie. Holy crap. Hey. Here we go. I never have been. But I, I became used to the outsider status, and I, I was really quite content. I, I mean, my mind is an active and fertile one. I'm never bored in my own company, and if being alone was to be my lot, well, there are worse things in this life to have to endure. But then there were you.